Hey guys, so <clears throat> there's a few uh, things that I always bring with me besides the obvious tippet, hemostats, uh, clippers, flies, rod, whatever. Um, <clears throat> one thing I always bring is a snack. Always have to have a snack with you. Um, it just really makes it for, you know, an easier, longer day. Um, when you're out there and you get hungry, you start making mistakes. Um, also, uh, I bring this. This is a, a product by Solarez. You can get other way to repair stuff, but this is called Flex Formula from Solarez. And it, uh, I use it for way to repair. And then I have this you can get from them, and it's a little uh, UV light. Okay, and you can actually do a quick repair on your waders in case you get a, a hole in them. Normally I would have to go back in and not fish anymore because of a pinhole, wait, uh, pinhole in my waders. Uh, but that allows me to actually uh, continue fishing. I can just do a quick repair and be back out on the water in a few minutes. So always have your fishing license too. So as I get out into the water and set up my rod on this beautiful and relatively warm morning, I felt somewhat optimistic. And literally on the very first cast of the morning, I hooked a fish. So with my first cast of the day producing a fish, I was pumped. I thought this was going to be an excellent day. Well, okay, maybe not as excellent as I had thought, so I try another spot. Oh well, not there either. Was this first fish just luck? As I searched around through the braids, I saw a few small fish hitting the surface, so I decided to give it a try. Okay, well, he was small. Oh hey, this one feels a little better. Okay, well, no Moby Dick, but at least it's finally another fish worth taking the net out for. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I'm gonna go try south of here quite a bit where the water might have warmed up a little bit and maybe I can get some more active trout. I'm 
gonna go on the back side of something called Crusher Hole. Um, it's a little bit of a drive, It'll take me about 20 minutes to get there. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna do, but I'm gonna go give it a try. All right, so I made it to the back side of Crusher Hole. This is Bolak Deus area. It's quite a bit of a walk down to the river down there. So after dealing with a very crowded day on the quality water section, and not many fish, I decided to walk down to a remote spot in where they call bait waters. I have fished here before and rarely ever see anyone because it's a little bit of a hike, but it opens up to this beautiful beach with dramatic rocks. After fishing here for a short while, my main camera died and my GoPro was on its last leg. I ended up hooking into a small brown about 15 inches, but before I could bring him in, my GoPro died. Then I decided to go back to T-Hole and replace my GoPro's batteries. I ended up fishing a streamer the rest of the day and got into a few fish. Okay, not huge, but still fun. Had to make sure the camera was on. Well, he's a little better. As the day winded down and the sun started to set over the canyon, the temperature started to drop. I decided I needed to leave soon. It was a good and fun day. Not as productive as I thought it would be after landing a fish my first cast, but still a fun day on the river. <laughs>